Object storage is gaining a lot of popularity with enterprises, as it provides a way to overcome some common challenges related to scalability, resiliency, and cost-effectiveness. With the Veeam Data Platform, enterprises can harness the power of object storage to overcome these challenges. In the following demo, we'll take a look at how we can set up an object storage repository, as well as how it could be used as part of a backup job. So let's go off to the lab and take a look. Within the console, let's go to the Backup Infrastructure tab, and then add Repository, followed by Object Storage. You'll see that there are a variety of object storage options available, but for this demo, I'll be using Wasabi. So let's click on that and give this repository a name. You'll see that we also have the option to limit the number of tasks that can use this repository at once. This could be useful when it comes to ensuring performance. Next, let's assign some specifics. In my case, I am going to be using the CA Central 1 region. If you need to add credentials, you can click on the Add button. Since I already have mine created, I will select them from the dropdown here. Next, we'll select a bucket to write backups to, as well as a folder within the backup. You'll see that you could choose from multiple buckets or folders, if they exist already. In this case, let's create a new folder. If you would like to limit the amount of storage consumption, you could set a value here. This could be handy in order to avoid overage fees. Additionally, you can enable immutability for these backups. This could be useful in situations where your entire bucket may not be immutable, but you want to keep your backups safe. By default, Veeam Backup and Replication could be used as a mount server. If you need to use a different server, you could select it here or add a new one. Similarly, if you want to select a different location for instant recovery cache, you could do so here. Lastly, if you would like to select a different cloud helper appliance, that could be set here. For now, we'll keep the default. Here, we see that the required components already exist. If we are adding an existing repository, we also have the option to import existing backups. Since this is new repository, we don't need this option. Let's hit Apply and Finish. With that, our repository is created and it's set up with immutability. With our object storage repository created, let's take a look at how we could use it for a VM backup job. So let's go back to the Home tab and we'll click on Backup Job and create a new backup. We'll call it Object Storage Demo Job. And in this case, I will not make it a high priority job, and we'll say Next. Now let's find a couple of VMs to add to this job. I'll search for a couple of domain controllers that we'll add here. We'll put these two in and hit Next. And now you'll see on this screen, we've got our new backup repository that we just created here, Wasabi-Demo. And from here on, you could go throughout the rest of the wizard and create the job as you normally would. Using object storage as a backup repository can empower you with near unlimited scalability and reliability while providing you the security that enterprises require in today's world.